Are yes. <coughs> Normally, how you are declaring normal variable? Just like you want to show some student, one student or two student later, then take just like A equal to student number is by number. And B equal to by number B. C equal to by number B. D equal to by number four. Like this student number two can show. But up to 10 or 20 is okay. If you want to show more number, almost this is about 52. 100 students, it is you want to show again big better. More than 250,000. That's why they introduce group of data if you want to show, you can use arrays. And these conditions are some, it is only particular data types. Okay? I will show you today arrays. <coughs> see here you can see array stores a fixed size. Okay, it is you can call it a collection. Array is a fixed size of collection. It means fixed size means when I initialize it, then how much I want. So suppose first of all I initialize it a hundred. I can store only hundred. I cannot exceed the hundred. Again I need to exceed hundred means again I need to create one more array. But what the minus part from array is, it is not fixable extended. So suppose some, uh, in future uh, somebody will miss in a different topics in terms of collections and all. It will automatically increase. How much data if you give it, it will automatically increase. But uh, arrays are fixed size. Whenever you want to store fixed size length of data, you can go for arrays. Fixed nothing but count of data. Not this count of data. How many counts? So suppose today I assume that my students can work something 10. But I want to enter 11 student data. Details for my RMS is not possible. Only 10 students data only in the array. In the array. The array format it will store the this is the default array structure okay array structure was it will first element and last element and it will start with 0 1 2 3 and a number of n means this suppose if i given array size is 5 5 nothing but 0 1 2 3 4 totally 5 elements so 5 elements data it will start with 0 index a with length minus 1. See, array starts with 0. Keep in mind, array starts with 0. Okay, this is the default array. Just like, numer if you create a numerical array, just like numerical 1, numerical 2, numerical 2. If you create a string, string 1, string 2, string 3, like this. You need to n number of array length minus 1. Okay? How to declare the array? Okay, how to declare the array? Just you can see syntax, basic syntax for array, data type nothing but what type of data you want to show. Integer, string, or decimal, or double, what you want to show. Of course, you can give array name. Here, we are not provided any length, but at a time, we can provide length as well as uh, array name and what the data type. Okay, here you can see data type is nothing but different types, what type of elements you want to show into array. And Open brackets and close brackets, it will indicate array, it will indicate array format. Okay? Afterwards, this array name is nothing but array. Next, see suppose some example, double like this we create. You can get in the string whatever you want. Okay, now there is a declaration of array. Okay, next. This is an initialization of array. Inside nothing but we have to read some Size. Just like you can view directly if you want directly this line, otherwise you can declare again, you can assign the value how much you want. So suppose I declare double balance uh, new double 10. This it will allow up to 10 variables it will allow. Starting with index was 0 and ending with index was 9 for this one. Okay. Next, <coughs> how to assign the data to array? Assign nothing but Pushing the data into arrays, like the speech and array. See, suppose I declare that my array length was 10, 10. But I want to push a 10 in, I can push up to 10 elements. Now I'm pushing only one value, balance of 0. If you want to push second element, balance of 2. If you want to push third element, balance of 3. Like this, how many, which element you want to push, you can push the data into that array. Okay, next. See, suppose I want to provide some bulge at a time. I can provide like this bulk to my array. Just like double array name and same thing I can push the data into my array. One more way, just like this also, they declare 5 and at a time 
Initialization, declaration, declaration, initialization, and assignment of all three they do it in one thing. Just this start declaration, initialization, and assignment. All they do it at a time. This is also one more thing. Different way. If you want to declare separately, we declare. Otherwise, if you want to declare and assign the miss uh, uh, assign the values. Otherwise, we can initialize the value. How oh, much? But you can do. Next, the different way that is. Now, as of now, we did just like assign declaration, initialization, and assign the values. After assigning values, now here I assign, here I need to use. That's called just like taking the data. If you want to see, suppose I assign this data into my array. My array was like this. After assignment, somewhere I need to use, reuse. That purpose again I need to take back. That's like this, you can take back. Just like balance nothing but one array. Of ninth, ninth is ninth element. It is coming into my cell. Okay, what we need from array to higher and take into my array. This small program. Oh, already one program. I will show you. See what is going on here. This is a using namespace. Okay, afterwards this is a predefined namespace. Means when you create any project, automatically namespace will come. The namespace section I will explain afterwards. Keep in mind the namespace. Next class I will explain afterwards. Static void main. Next here we declare integer array. Array name was n and size was 10. Okay. Here i and j. i and j are nothing but normal integer variables. Okay. Next by using for loop. For loop I will explain next uh, today only uh, after the push of this topic. For loop nothing but see suppose here starting with 0 my loop in what so suppose I want to insert a data loop data I want to use for loop like that we can use different red loops is there what I am doing here my starting value was 0 and uh, maximum value was 10 one by one what I am doing see suppose my length was 10 normally how we can declare just like if you want to insert 10 elements to that array just as you can use n of 1 n of 2, n of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like this we need to declare. Now, sorry, n of 0, n of 9. Like this. Each and everything you need to write. But instead of writing, if you want to do this one, we can do loops. Writing how many lines we are writing? 10 lines. Instead of writing 10 lines, we can use just like for loop. What, here, what is the constant value? It is not changing, only n of us are giving n of. It is not changing at all. Okay. Here, what is the changing value? 0 to 9. That's why I declare one, variable, one more variable in i equal to. 0 starting with 0 ending with 9 9 nothing but less than 10 okay n 10 what I am doing I am incrementing 1 by 1 how you get to increment sorry this is not n i i plus 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 okay i plus plus just open bracket and close bracket where is the i value 0, 1, 2, 3 values? This is a 0 plus 1 plus like this. That's why I get i. That's why we are using for loop like this for repeating the data if you want to do. See, suppose if you put 10 items, means we can write, we can assign the values. Suppose I want to assign almost 1000 or 2000 data, means it's not possible one by one line. That's why we can use for loops and we can loop in the data. But, see, suppose sometimes it's difficult to differentiate the data system, that time for loop is not work. Similar data, suppose 0, 1, 2. Otherwise, array of 2, array of 4, array of 6, array of 5. This allows also we can do what the meaning is here in giving 2 by 2 in this is. Like this means proper data means we can do. Again, you can do it as only this is not possible. That comes from our experiment to us. What you are doing? Just n equal to n of 0. Afterwards, what I am giving? i plus 100. I, I nothing but here. I, I equal to, I nothing but 0, 0 plus 100, 
plus zero uh, one plus hundred two plus hundred like this two naught two naught two two naught three data we are pushing into this data. It's like a why this one we are using is normally we go to colleges and all. Actually, this is the student sequence. But each and every branch they are having their own sequence. Just like one naught one, four naught one, three naught one like this. That's why they give two naught one or three three. Just like student one number three naught one. So just like student number three naught two. Like this, different different thing. Two naught two, we take two like. Okay. Just we are pushing the data into array. Now. Afterwards, after pushing data, I want to reverse return back. Return back back nothing but all the data is my my all the data into array. I want to return back. That's why what I'm doing again, again for loop. Okay, again we are retrieving the back. Just like j equal to zero, j less than ten, j plus plus console dot write line. It is write the data and the element of zero zero nothing but it is what I said. <coughs> Just like printing purpose. One zero and one. First place zero place it will replace J it will replace. Place order I explain no control order. Concatenation and uh, place order topic before. Mm. I understood that Con concatenation means you want to concatenate. Place order means what? How many place order will give you? There it will replace the place order data. How it will be? I given element of this flower bracket living. Not flower bracket, and flower bracket three. In flower bracket, I give it zero. This flower bracket one. What the meaning of J to replace zero place, and n of J to replace one place. Okay, up to here limit. J nothing but zero. Zero or not, it will print element of zero, element of one, element of two, element of three. Like this, it will print. Afterwards, equal to what the data we pushed? Hundred one, hundred two, hundred three. Like this, we push. That data is also related. That purpose they use n of j, n nothing but our array, n nothing but our array, n n of j, j nothing but zero, n of zero, n of one, n of one, n of two, n of n nothing but array, array of zero, array of one is hundred, one of one, one of two, one of three, the data is the most. The output was just like it will print again. This is the output. This element will print the same thing. Zero question J came. N of J nothing but hundred one hundred one hundred one hundred. This is the this way are ready. Okay. You understood or any doubt? Yeah, we saw you on board drama also. Sir. Okay. Same thing here. We can observe one more thing. Same example. Here we used for loop. Okay, we are using for loop, but we can do this one same thing for each loop also. For each loop, I will explain afterwards. Just like for each also, it will just like this is a for each loop. Same syntax in the J and in just like n, n nothing but our array, j nothing but increment. How much value? Just it will do. Okay, I will explain afterwards. Leave it as well. This one output was same. Now see, these are the array types. Single dimensional, single dimensional array expand upside. Single dimensional nothing but just like our array. Single dimensional nothing but I want to show one similar array, one only one row like that. Just like that. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. And multi-dimensional array nothing but if you want to show group of data and matrices like that data. Just like multi-dimensional is nothing but like this. Okay. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, sorry, two, one. Output file this. 
by using array of 1 or 1. This is nothing but starting with start. Like this you can do. Okay, next. Multiple charge array. This is a multi dimension. This will have multi dimension. Next, charge array nothing but array of array of data. Charge array. Charge array nothing but. See, sometimes my first group of elements was B. This it will store 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 elements. Next. I'm adding one more project. Tanjore project. And giving project name as a Tanjore underscore array. Arrays. Examples I kept one line only, that's why I'm commenting one by one. See, this uh, it will line indicates it is different, different examples. Okay, if you want to see, actually, here I use it, so I did upset also use it. If you compile, I throw error, that's why I'm commenting one by one. We'll take one by one example.
send all of it. I will explain one by one. Now I am going to top. Make the right point. Now see here, mouse over automatically you can get intelligence of how much data is. Just see mouse over, you can see here, I don't know array will start with 0. Okay, 0 of is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5 elements, what I send? 1, 2, 3, 4, I send 5 elements. Now, come down. Now, again, same array, again, I insert as a different it is 8 elements that's why it is 8 now just see again i'm going to change my array fifth elements my fifth element was 1 2 3 4 5 6 was the my fifth element fifth element nothing but it is zero element first element second element third fourth fifth normal fifth element i given six but again i reassign now go and check it. Okay. 20. What is the meaning of this one is after assigning the data, we can update the data. Okay. Next, see, I have six elements. I want to print uh, sorry, eight elements, I want to print the data. Just like this, see here. Normally, what is the use of for each means? Normally, for you, we can view starting and end file. So suppose in my array I have uh, just like eight elements. I want to print three elements means we can use uh, for loop. But I don't want to, I want all the data I want to print. We can use for loop as well, for each as well. For each nothing but you can look through what are the elements they have in the your array are, what the data, not only array, collections and different print is there. What the data having in one particular list automatically will execute all the list. Now see, my element was something eight elements is there, xyz. Now see here, int xy, I declare what is the meaning of this? This is what type of data I use to. That's why it's there int xy. And in means from where I am taking the data. From where I am taking the data, xyz. xyz has to be this one. And looping one by one. Here printing xy. Just like one by element, it will go to xy. xy will print into the print. Just like see. How do you want to see command? One, two, it's printed. Just wait. Three, four, five. Eight. Sprint it like this. One, two, three, and uh, the element I updated it to twenty. That's it. Next, one more. I will show you. Just see here. Uh, X, Y, Z. Ah. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th element. Automatically what will happen? Fourth element was my 5. 
dan cerita yang update itu fourth element was updated into hundred, two hundred. Okay, understood? What what I said is fifth cerita is not update. Keep it here. So just take an example, one by one, and come in and do it. Well, because multiple if I created arrays, 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 means so many projects with them related to one array, one project, that's right. All examples are take some similar element into one array. That means one point term. If you want to execute this one, just comment all these, execute that one. Okay? Now, now see. Now, to remove that comment lines. Just like an term, if you select, uh -huh. here you can see, this is a comment term. This is the uncommented. Shattered also can say control E U. Here you can see control E U. This com comment control same thing E C. C means nothing but comment U means uncommented. Okay. Now this one same program in X Y Z. I declare only. I insert. I not insert the value. Only declare first. Afterwards. X, Y, Z is nothing but I, uh, I given some data into my array. Same thing what I explained here, same thing here also. But here, directly we put the data, here subtract it. Same output here. Okay, array of eight. Next. Suppose I want to print the my, I have a one array, I want to take even number R number from my array. Okay. See suppose this is a my array elements, R take it as a with students, just like 0 to 12 students in there. But I want to print who are having even number and R number. Even nothing but that element by divided by 2 equal to 0 means that's the even number. After this that one means R number. Just like what I am doing, same I take one array, afterwards I am assigning some value to my array. Afterwards, I am looping one by one. It is coming inside. X y module by 2. It is equal to 0. If it is 0, it will come and insert. It will print that element. Otherwise, you will not. Just see. Put right point. Our first element was 1 year one okay one divided by uh, modular two is not equal to zero that's why it's not going to be same next value was two that's why it's came to inside now two is printed three to not print four five to not print six seven to not print eight 10, 11, not 20, 12. Just go and see your tensor. It's printed data 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. It's just a given number. Same thing, opposite. Okay. You put here, okay. not equal to this, that's the R project. Otherwise, put else plot, that's the R project. Whatever you want. Just like the small code. This is some, it will treat as a big code. But if you do step by step, it will very, very small. That's why. Learn loops is very important, very very important loops, this type of loops only, are also very important. Okay. Next, see here, same thing, <coughs> I want to print 
my length my length was something uh, 30 mm. I don't want to print 30 mm. I want to print up to 10 mm mm. What I need to do? First I need to print with I equal to 2 means 1 is mean of I equal to means it is starting with 2. Length minus 2 means length minus 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is the my array length. I am starting with 2, means first 2 elements, first 3 elements is going in. Afterwards, length minus 2, it will, these 2 elements is going up to 10, means this element will be included. Meaning of the one is, what loop we can do like this, different belt are there, means uh, what the element you want or what the element you want to end. But this type of for each group it will not follow, for each group nothing but it will add in the heat. But what is the disadvantage of using for each group? For two weeks and every time we need to declare the variable, separate variable, but here no need. Okay. See, now it will print 3. 1, 2 not printed. 1, 2 not directly going to 3. Why? Because I started with 2. Same thing I created 4, I can push the 4 element. 
This pushing also is different different types. This suppose zero element I push first. After this first element, third element, second element. Different is there. I can push any scenario. This is not only CPU. You can push how you want to have data. That's one more. This is a one more example for taking input from your central application and you are pushing the data and different format. What I did first, I did I enter a marks. Just like five details or five uh, size I did across my input and this one retrieving the data. Next, one more thing, I declare one more what I did. Please enter size of array. Array size also I am taking from input. Just wait. This one I will keep from it. This one no need. See this example. Just like I took in n, I declare one variable. Afterwards, I return. Please enter size of array. Means how much you want to show, that much you can do array size. So suppose one time I want to show only student, two student data. Sometimes I want to show hundred student data. However, you want, you can declare array size n. Thus, given n, n is put up here, and it is initializing array. In array, you have new int of n what you can now input afterwards it is asking enter elements into the array means it is asking one by one it will ask it will take you how much data you enter into step by step see suppose i given one two three four five and after completion of array again we are just like see it's asking please and uh, enter the size of array. I'm entering something 10. Sasi, please enter into array. Array element. Suppose I given 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. 10 starting point means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 elements are given, 10 elements is used. Again, what I enter the data is pushed out. What is the use of like this scenario? So that's it, suppose if you want to do some addition of 2 numbers, addition of 3 numbers, or if you want to take some students' details, like this and all, you can take and you can put the data. This is like if you go to some uh, exam portals and all. No? Actually, what, how they will enter the data, like this they will enter the data, they will push all the data into the database. When you enter your uh, ID, automatically your marks will come outside. This is all like this goes different, different. But I, just like input, output, I showed one place only, it's a little bit confused. But in some ways, somebody will give input, somebody will take output. Different, different scenario. This is one example, but take the data for a given the data. Okay. You understood now single dimensional array? Any queries? Next.
is a two dimensional array. I am taking example. Okay. Two dimensional array is nothing but I said no matrix array. This is a two dimensional array. Just like two dimensional array, we can declare like this. This is in of comma of. Means we are providing two of two. Means two elements to R that are two elements to take. Just like I am taking input. First, this loop indicate like this. Again, this, oh sorry, this loop indicate this array. What I given? Zero and two. First array. Zero and this first we start with zero. Okay, and it will go with two. First, I is equal to zero. It's kept to inside. Zero of zero. Zero of nothing but zero of zero. First position. Next, zero of what is this here? Up to went out. This loop it will not indicate. First is this two. After it came to here. My j i equal to zero now. I equal to zero. Okay. Afterwards, this came to inside. Inside. What is the j equal to? Zero. J equal to zero. Is one j equal to zero? Is taking the data over over there. After completion of this part, it will not go here. It will go to here first. Now j equal to zero. J plus plus. J equal to zero. J plus plus. J equal to one. J i equal to same thing. It will not change i. Now j equal to One, you understand that? Miss, it will not go directly here. After completion of all loops here, it will go. Now j equal to zero, or j equal to one. After j equal to come on, it will print. Now it will again it will go j plus plus. Miss j equal to three. Three equal to two. This false. That's why it will it will go come end of bar. It will split. I will go to here. J equal to uh, i equal to zero. Now i plus plus. I equal to one. Again, it came to inside. Now, again, J equal to zero. Okay. Again, J zero. J plus plus. J equal to one. The time I equal to same thing. It will not change. J equal to one. After completion, J equal to one. Again, J plus plus is two. Two less than two is false. That's why it put the loop first two inside loop. Again, it will go to first two. First two also J already one. I already one. I plus plus three. Three less than two. It's false. That's why that's two also put it. That's why finally it will come I into R zero zero. Means what? How it will indicate? Zero of zero. Zero of one. One of one. I'm oh sorry. One of zero. One of one. Like this in the data. Okay, this is our two dimensional array, two two rows, or two columns, and two rows. That's where it is. Otherwise, see, suppose I will take, otherwise I will give three, 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 three. Set up start up project. Now it is asking. Please enter in the values in the array. I'm giving one, two, three, four, five, six. Nine elements, no. Sorry, I thought there six element. Three into three, no. We do before this two into two. This explanation. Again, we did exchange the three data, no. Just like one, two, three rows. It will take either one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine levels. So this is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are elements of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What the meaning of this one is, if you want to do some material or data, or if you want to multiple students or multiple data, you can do for like different different formats. This is called multi-dimensional array. Jagged array, I don't have example. Tomorrow I will explain my jagged array. Don't have example here. Okay. This jagged array, this tunnel I will explain after. Okay. These are some advantages of this one. This one is this. Advantages of this one, you can store only sonic type. This nothing but what the meaning of the problem is, this suppose what I told implicit transition and implicit express transition. Implicit and express nothing but if you are converting one data type to another data type, we need to do type test. Type test nothing but again one more task, it's sort of this after all. But here it will show standard type nothing but it will show only one type of data, such as integer or string or this one only one type of data. It's only type test. And this sort of does this, it will not grow automatically. Grow nothing but automatically will not increase. What the data? So suppose when I pick the given size as five, automatically we need to provide five only. If I try to give extra, it's not accepted. Thus, some I this word under the arrays. Next topic: comments. Okay, I already told what the means of comments means. Just like if you want to copy some data, if you want to comment on some data, we need comments. Or if you do some guidance to uh, next developer or the police station, what we are going to do, the particular function or particular variable, what we can do, comment. Just like what we are doing operation in that, you can write all comment line under each and every method or each and every line or each and every class. And these are the again it into three types. One is single dimension, so sorry, single line comments, multi-line comments, and XML comments. Single line comments we can use like this double slash and the multi line we can use slash star star end and XML comments nothing but three slashes. XML comments we can use max number one classes methods are upside the methods are upside the classes are upside the namespaces separate separate. What the XML comments it will indicate the what method is going on. I will explain the XML comments when I started on method creations. Now some shortcuts of this one. Actually two types of two ways is there we can do comments. One way is using designer, designer nothing but upside this one is there no. Here you can find out the comment and comment. This is one scenario. One more is shortcuts. Just like keyword shortcut for control K, control C is the comment. And uncomment, control key, and control is the uncomment. Okay. Just like this. This you can see here. Control key. Uh, a little change. Yeah, it's both one. Control K also is working. Control E C also working. Okay, no problem. So you can use E as well as K also. Control K and C. Control K and U as the antonym. Okay. So it's one more bad thing for comments. Don't write each and every line comment. Just write what are the important points. Write the comments better. Otherwise, that it will take the space. So suppose each and every line I am writing lines of code for comment purpose, this also is not good. Okay. Next, 
conditional statements. Conditional statement means this has been known. Statement rule you can find the condition nothing but one condition you need to satisfy. If condition means if you one condition satisfy, one rule will be exit. One condition satisfy in one one thing yet. That's not again two types and <coughs> this like we can go for this like condition branching and condition looping. Okay. This are the again two types, this like if statement and switch statement. If nothing but actually if again different different types is there, we can use single if and if else, if nested ifs, nested ifs, else, like this different different. What is the use of if and all? Now first example for if statement. Okay, if statement like this will come. Normally, if condition, condition nothing but we need to give some condition. Just if it satisfies the condition only, it will come to insert. Just like statement, statement nothing but open brackets. Sorry, not open. Open bracket and close bracket, what the condition you want. Just like statement. Afterwards, else statement. In else also, again, if you want to use, if you can use if, otherwise, if you want to only single if, you can use single if, if you want if else, if else you can use if, and inside if, if you can use apply this different different way. See the small state uh, example is there here. equal. 
to undertake like this again with the boost if a b again I'm using one more if a b here b again else equal same scenario I want to change one more traditional element to create traditional this you can use integer suppose I want to take a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 or so suppose I don't want to take the 0 values just like a, B is there. First I need to check if B. It will put A is B. If B is B. If A equal to equal to 0. What else? Nothing but it will put A equal to equal to 0. Again, if sorry, here we need to else, else, else if a equal to b equal to equal to zero, to print b equal to equal to zero. Next, else, to print a equal to equal to b. To understand what the problem, sometimes I want to change my a as to zero or not. First I will change A is the bit or B is bit. A is bit. B is bit. If B equal to, if B equal to. Like this we can use n number of if. What is use of if and else statement separate circuit or in this case? Don't say suppose sometimes I will remove. You understood this one. Now say one more thing. If A, B. A. Again if. This is a small example for if. This is what you need to enter one number. It is taking and storing into i. And I am checking it is what you need to enter is even number of primary. This is right. Positive or negative or even number of negative. This is a given positive or negative. One more example, same. If else,
see here, I declare one local variable a equal to 10. Oh, sorry, 100. I am checking if a equal to equal to 10. If a equal to equal to 10 means it will print my value of is uh, my value is 10. Otherwise, I am checking if a equal to 20. If a equal to 30. Like this, otherwise a equal to not matching. Just like
You apply the use of this small small piece and you can go for space. Just like one condition, two condition is not dependent on the other one, you can go for normal if if condition. If you similarly just like I want to change the hand up to one, two, three, four, change similar data for under dimension like this, you can go for switch state. Switch state is going to not go step by step, it will automatically switch into particular condition. Suppose my data was 40 minutes, it will not go first step, it will automatically go to 40 minutes. By switch. See the one example for a switch. Okay. Actually, here one more different way they took. I will explain you. Finally, default 
this is another, two number or three number. It's like you want to put for the multiple speech. Here you can give first addition and subtraction. Again, after entering into the loop, you can change this. With the number you have to add. Yeah, you understood next speech? Okay, you are facing the same problem now. Thank you.